With multitasking, the user gets an instant return to the game. So here I go. I'm going to push the back button back. There's our animation. Boom, we're in the game, and it pauses for me so I can press the continue button. Very, very fast, effectively instant. So I'm going to do it again. I'll press start. We navigate away. I can go do something else on the phone. I could run other apps, whatever I want. When I push back to come back to that app, voila, I can press continue, and I'm flying my plane again. So that's the first scenario, making it really, really fast and easy. I should not fly there to come back to apps. Now second, because we have that, it suddenly becomes a lot more interesting for users to have a mechanism to switch between apps they've been running recently. So we're adding a new user interface element later this year, which lets people have a task switching view from their back button. You could press back, back, back to go to apps you've been running, or you can press and hold back, which is what I just did, and we'll present a view of all the applications that you've been running recently. So you can see here, we set this phone up before the demo. I ran email. I ran Fruit Ninja. I ran Groupon on the phone. And I want to give you an example now. When you put these things together, I can switch between games incredibly fast. So when I'm going to choose Fruit Ninja. I'm live. I'll unpause the game. And here I am killing fruit. So you can see I'll do that. Now let's go back to our Rise of Glory. Press and hold back. Navigate over to Rise of Glory. And now I'm flying my plane. So uh, for those, um, those teenagers with really long attention spans who want to try playing two games at a time, it will now be possible with fast task switching and our new task switching menu.